It should be clear. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, you're joining me, Ruku, and Jimbo is also back for another beer review. Yes. Hey. Um, yeah. <laughs> How have you been since the last review? Yeah, doing good. Just uh, just trying to stay out of the heat. But uh, yeah, looking forward to some good old uh, refreshing beer. So never had it before. It so uh, should be good. Excellent. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, we've got Walter and Will with us. Can hello, Will and Walter. Thank you for joining us both. Um, yeah, as I say, today's beer review. I've, I've picked this deliberately because obviously the weather's really hot. Uh, Twenty-seven degrees out of there high, and this beer is well, it's Tusker. It's one of the most refreshing beers I know of. Um, so I think this is the perfect beer for this perfect weather. If I'm being honest. It's uh, nice and light and refreshing. Cool. I'm going to uh, crack it open. Yeah. Um, I will give another shout out as well to Kelvin, who's uh, hopefully going to be watching this back later on. He's also from Kenya. And as we know, this, this beer's from Kenya also. Uh, one of his favourite beers, apparently. Yeah, I was reading up on it too. It's basically one of uh, Africa's most popular beers. Yep. It's their most popular beer, and then Guinness apparently is second as well. So it'd be Tusker and then Guinness. Wow, Guinness in uh, Africa. Wow. Yeah. There's your coloration. It's very, very uh, clear, as you can see. It's more appeals now. It's got a yellow tint to it as well. It has, yeah. And it, bear in mind, this is only what? 4.2, is it? Yeah, 4.2. So, fantastically nice light beer for this weather. Yeah, right, let's crack on. Yeah, like you said, it's pretty light. Um, it's not too bubbly like the last beer we had. Um, mm. I mean, it's definitely bubbles, but uh, like a lager, but not too many bubbles uh, like previously. It's um, it's nice and, and light as well. And don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've got some um, a bit of citrus taste on the back end. Uh, here we go. We, uh, Walter says, howdy. <laughs> Howdy, Walter. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, Walter, we've got we've got from uh, Brazil. So any uh, Brazilian uh, beers, I think Walter would definitely uh, like to see. I mean, this is um, exceptionally light, but again, it's that sort of first quenching taste and it's, it's like a watery body as well. Mm. And that's why I picked it for the weather because I knew that today's hot and you don't want nothing too heavy. Something nice and light, refreshing. Yeah. Um, something I read up on um, regarding the beer. Um, apparently, because it's a popular beer in parts of Africa, um, basically the slogan, my beer, my country. Um, regarding <laughs> all over Kenya. But yeah. There was um, a, a meme about yeah. that for uh, President Obama. Um, when he was in power, because he was part Kenyan, uh, there was a, a, a logo for that as well, which was quite cool. Yeah, that's right. Cool. That's right. As, uh, yeah. I think we are. Uh, so that's uh, just uh, camera. Makes sense that's with right. the uh, the elephant and uh, Africa. Yeah. Uh, I also have some information about this so the beer itself was first brewed in 1922 in kenya and was done by very basic equipment um the guy a guy called george hurst i don't know who he was but he was the white settler um initiated the brewing process and laid the formation of east african breweries limited and sadly later on he was killed by an elephant that charged at him in 1923 and of course, in memory of his death, they named the beer after him, so after Tusker. So huh. it's uh, quite a tragic story, but um, again, without this uh, George Hurst, we wouldn't have such a wonderful beer that we are drinking today. Yeah. 
Yeah, the elephant does definitely stick out with the yellow in the background. Um, probably goes with the, the yellow and the little bit of citrus in the beer. I uh, mm. kind of tell But no, I really like it. It's, um, <clears throat> it's not too heavy, like you said. It's nice and light. Uh, good for hot days. Um, and you can probably definitely have a few, not get carried away. But mm. um, yeah, I really dig it. Dig the logo, definitely sticks out. So, I mean, definitely off the shelf. I mean, passing by, you definitely want to definitely uh, pick it up and give it a go. And yeah, Tusker together forever. Yeah, exactly. It's sitting just there on the top there. You know what I'm saying? And there's your. Hmm. In there, what so there's the elephant that supposedly killed George Hurst, I suppose, and uh, it's it's a tribute beer, really. But I can understand yeah. why this really well in um, sort of Africa, especially Kenya, because being a, a very hot climate, they don't want nothing too um, heavy. They don't want nothing too out there, too alcoholic. They, you know, they want something first quenching, does the job, that's nice and light. And to me, this ticks every single box. <laughs> There's also uh, a slight bitterness. I don't know if you detected that, but there's a slight bitterness in the beer as well. You've got that wateriness and then a slight bitter. Mm. I mean, yeah, you're right. I, I, I love this beer. I, you know, I don't drink this more than enough than I should do because I think it's a really underrated beer. I think if more people knew about this, I believe this would be a real good seller. Mm. Yeah, it's been around since the 20s, like you mentioned. So it's definitely um, <clears throat> stayed alive, especially with the other big beers out there and being so popular in Africa. Yeah, it's good to see that it's it's, uh, it's here in Europe, um, mm. getting popular. But yeah, I really dig it, really dig it. Um, I, mean, this, I think it's... Uh, yeah, go uh, so does this come in a single bottle or six pack or how do you buy this? Do you know? Yeah, it's singly. Unfortunately, you can buy crates online, but they are extremely expensive. You can buy like a pack oh. of six or twelve for something stupid, like forty-two quid. Wow, not bad. Sign of good beer. Um, but it's expensive. But I bought this singly. Um, I was lucky that my local off license actually sells this, so I got this from my local off license for about three pound a bottle. Okay. So it's quite expensive, but yeah. for a rare beer like this, like, it's worth every every penny. Well, it's that, I think you roughly get more than a pint, maybe. But, yeah, you might. It's a five hundred ml, so yeah, just just under a pint. Okay. So uh, what's water? Stream still down, says Walter. Walter, are you having problems? Are you? He, yeah, he's having he's having problems. Endless loading. He's he's having issues. Oh, he's uh, his stream's not doing too well by the sounds of it. Uh, but hopefully, he can watch this back and uh, he should be good. I hope yeah. more tea come through soon. Yeah, <laughs> 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 nah. it's um, yeah, I like it. It's a really good beer, like you said. Um, it's good for warm days. Uh, I really dig the. I'll probably buy more actually, to be honest. Um, and I think I would actually uh, prefer this beer over the previous beer that I reviewed. I do. Yeah, I do definitely. And the, re the reason why I like that is because this beer. I know you mentioned it in our last stream, but this beer I think would go endlessly well with loads of different food types, whether mm. that's meat, fish, pastas, you know, salads. This is a <clears> beer that's just universal to most foods. Mm. And because it, yeah. it, is, it is how it is, it's clean, it's crisp, it's a little bit of a dryness at the end there. You know, it's not too carbonated, it's watery, it's refreshing. Yeah. And, you know, on a hot day like today, 27 degrees, let alone in Kenya, this would go well with, you know, some foods like fish, salads, mm. meats. Mm. Yeah, and it's light, it's not heavy like some beers. Um, it's not really gassy as well, so I mean, you could definitely drink quite a few um, and still keep cool. 
mean, this is only apparently, I don't know, this is only 2.1 units as well. So, I mean, you can you can get away with having a, one of these and uh, technically driving. So, you know, not that I it, But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anyone out there now starts drink driving and blames it on me, I'm suing, all right? I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never drink and drive. Never drink and drive. No, absolutely. But it's um, not bad for three pound though for, for a bottle. I know it's it, that's quite expensive considering uh, off license standards, and it's also expensive for the actual five hundred mil itself. But because mm. it's a rare beer that not many off licenses or any people will get in. I would pay the extra for it, and I always do. Anything like that, that I see, I always go to the extra and pay for it. Do um, do Tusker do any other beers other than the lager? Unfortunately, yeah, they do. There's a there's a few out there. They, they do a Pilsner version, which mm. I, I can only assume is going to be twice as light as this. It'd probably be equivalent to like a uh, Miller High Life or something, or uh, Bud Light or something like that. Um, mm. They also did, uh, I can't think of the name, man. There was another version as well. I think it was like Tusker Premium or something. So that, that looked quite interesting. Hmm. But unfortunately, I can't get my hands on them. I've, I've scoured the internet for hours on end and I still can't find them. Oh, wow. Yeah, imagine if you so, do, it'll be, it'll be more pricier too. I, I reckon so. Unless, obviously, anyone from Kenya would be willing to uh, donate something to me, then I'll quite happy review them but for me personally it's, it's again it's the same thing with certain countries sometimes you just can't export the beers over they just for whatever reason it's it's a no-go mm. so to, to have this obviously is quite a rarity and we're, we're very lucky to have it yeah i like it really like it uh, is that water's with us still is, is water you still are tapping uh, is water still with us Yeah, Walter's from Brazil, so I'm not sure if they can, they usually sell this type of beer down there. I meant to say Walter, sorry, I've got the fucking spelling wrong. <laughs> I mean, Brazilian beers as well, I've had quite a few Brazilian beers, and again, they're exceptionally light also. Well, if that's also due to the climate, like you mentioned, with Africa and stuff. I think so, yeah. I still can't spell. Even though water is there in front of me, I still can't spell. <laughs> it's the beer. I'm going back to school. Never drink and type. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. There's water. There you go. See, that's the correct spelling. <laughs> I'm sorry, water. I didn't mean to get your name wrong. Just don't, like Jimbo said, don't text and drink. It's a deadly combination, my friend. Deadly combination. Um, yeah, I mean, again, Brazilian beers, they're very light. I've had various others apart from the commercial stuff. Um, there was a beer that I can't pronounce. I, I did get taught the correct pronunciation, but it was spelled Ixingu. It's like X-I-N-G-U. Uh, uh, it's not how it sounds. It was pronounced it's completely different, and that was a black beer from Brazil. Um, black beers generally you associate with a heavy style, but this was so light it just yeah i think i ended up drinking it within about five minutes it was that good and the flavor as well was really nice oh nice but um i mean what do you think about price for this though? i mean three pound was quite a lot of money but would would you pay three pound for that or what where would you be on if you saw that what would you sort of pay for that yeah probably i'll probably pay Maybe a little bit less, but I mean, if they're very rare in the UK and hardly sold in certain big shops, and that's understandable with the the price of three pounds. Um, I guess the markup of the for license too, but um, yeah. well, at least they come in one one pack. So I mean, you can choose your variety. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have to force yourself to you know drink uh, all. All six of them, if they come in a six pack, but, but since they come in a single pack, yeah, you can definitely choose and get it every now and then. And yeah, mm. no, price is good. Um, yeah, I'll definitely get it again. 
definitely get it again. See, I, I kind of agree with the price. I mean, I think it's a little bit expensive for what it is, but <clears throat> I did I'd like to see it mark up at about maybe about two pound tops. You know, maybe two fifty at a push. Um, yeah. But again, having this in a six pack, I think for those that have never tried it, to almost invest, say, uh, for a six pack, just say it was like uh, seven pound fifty. You know, that's a, that's a fair bit of money for a drink that you potentially might not like. Mm. So I think Tusker would miss out on the market, especially here in the UK, if they could release this in multi packs of six, twelve, whatever as well as individually, because then the choice is up to us as a consumer to say, I'll buy one, see what it's like. And then if you really like it, go and buy a six pack, 12 pack. You're referring to the, uh, the mask, um, bank robbery. Well, you know, I've done a few in my time. Not going to look like <laughs> 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 might, I might have to uh, go and rob my local off license for some more Tusker. <laughs> well, that was good. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, what would you, what would you score this? Sorry, one more time. What would you score this out of 10? Um, I would say, I'd say probably. Um, I'd say a six, and I think I think I'll probably reduce it to a six because of the price, mm. uh, especially it being a um, this type of a light beer. Um, yeah, I mean, if it was cheaper, I'd probably raise it a little bit more. But yeah, probably yeah. since the price it would go down. <clears throat> but yeah, see, I would I would rate it higher. I would rate this at least a seven or an eight because of it's for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, the price is a bit steep, but it's just, I, I love the flavour. It's just an easy-going beer. There's, I know there's not huge amounts of flavour. You get a bit of bitterness. There's a bit of wateriness. The hop comes through slightly. Um, it's low-carbonated. It's a light-bodied beer. And to me, you know, that just ticks a few boxes. To me, this is this is my Pilsner. I know it's not technically classed as a Pilsner, but to me, this is my Pilsner. Mm -hmm. So, especially on a hot day like today, ideal. Absolutely ideal. Mm. And you can see how much I like it because I've nearly drunk the whole bloody bottle. So, <laughs> I've, I've got nothing left. <laughs> That's all I've got. Yeah, it definitely goes out easy. That's for sure. It does. And I think if this was any stronger, if this was, you're talking sort of maybe 5 two to 6%, I think very dangerous. You, you'd easily have a good time on this, but 4.2, non-offensive, nice and easy. So if you had five beers to pick from in the summertime, would you put this in the five? Absolutely, yeah. I would, uh, the, the, I've got a few, I mean, off the top of my head. I'd probably put this this one in for my summer drinks, obviously Budweiser, because that's a classic. Uh, Modelo, uh, Dos Equos, and probably Viru from Estonia. They would be mm. my top five. Interesting about Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, 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 as much as I don't like Bud as in the sense that it's too commercial and, mm. you know, and pisses me off the Americans get it at like 5% and we get it at like 4.2 or whatever it is now. Really? It pisses me off. Wow. Yeah, it's stronger know. in America. Yeah, they get it 5%. Ours is about 4.2. Wow. And there's... As Walter says, technically, that is robbery. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? It's, it's an American beer, so they've got rights to do what they want. So that's, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah. But, yeah, definitely a good beer. So. Yeah, I wonder if it's because, um, you may know this more, but, um, is is the UK and parts of Europe standard with average of lower percentage beers, and that's why they lowered it? Do you think? Or? Do you know what? Yeah, it's, it's that's a tough one to call because it, <clears throat> it can also have 
the opposite way as well. I mean, there's there's beers in America that we get that are stronger that they don't get. And then there's beers in Denmark that, like, for example, Carlsberg, I think, um, I not had the new reformulated Carlsberg, by the way, but when it was the old watery stuff before they reinvented it, that was like, again, 4%, something like that. And then uh, in Denmark, they got it at like 5.2. And I'm like, oh, why the fuck are we getting watery stuff? And, and weirdly enough, the Americans got the 5.2 stuff as well. And I'm like, but we're closer to Denmark than America is. I don't understand that. It's just it's bizarre. Maybe the, um, I don't know, the English hate their beer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's interesting. We not hate well, the beer. To be fair, we, we, we have got some shit beer, haven't we? Let's be honest. <laughs> Carmen, <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> yes, very true. Uh, shout out no, to uh, my friend Will as well. Who's on the uh, Will? Yeah, he's on the chat. I, I take it Will's one of your subscribers. He is, yeah. He's a good guy. Oh, well, hello, Will. Nice to uh, nice to see you. Hope you enjoy more of our uh, broadcasts. If he obviously he's probably watching this back later on. Well, I'm done. That that was a fantastic beer. I love that, and you can see from the lacing uh, somewhere. Probably not pick the best glass for this, but uh, it's a very decorative. There you go. There's your lacing. Sticks <clears> well. So, it goes on mine. <laughs> you need to keep up. <laughs> as long as you've enjoyed the beer, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, as I said, we've still got more, more to come, so, you know. Which uh, which beer should we review next? Uh, Walter says Budweiser is Brazilian. Yeah, I, I wouldn't let America let you say that because you know what they're like. <laughs> they probably shoot them. Bought by InBev. Yeah, InBev interestingly own uh, just over half of the uh, beers that we we all love today. Literally, it pisses me off. Uh, I've in Bever up there with Disney and Hitler. They should all be uh, all be shot. Personally, <laughs> um, it, and the reason why I say that is because I lost respect for Inbev when they bought Left. Now Left was uh, a Trappist, well not a Trappist beer, but it's was, it was an Abbey beer brewed by monks. Uh, it's been a favourite of mine for a lot of years, and then Inbev come along and buy them out, and I was like, dude, the monks earn their own living by what they sell. They live off off the land they live off what they sell and in comes a big corporation company and says here's like 32 million dollars or whatever it is you know let's let's have you and they go yeah yeah all right then and i think that's wrong you're, you're taking away the independence you're taking away the history of the brewery you're taking away their livelihood for what money so that's why i hate him but that's that's another story <laughs> <laughs> perfect but uh, yeah, so the, the next few, um, I don't know what we've got. I think we've got a couple of more OJs left. Uh, we've got uh, an extra. Uh, what else did we have? I think that was it, wasn't it? I think that's all we had. Oh, and a Utenos Gold. And a Utenos Gold. Nice. Yeah. Do we have any um, wheat beers? I can't remember. No, we haven't. No, sadly. No, I do like a wheat beer. Yeah, that's fine. Do like a wee beer, but uh, I mean, that is, I don't know what you want to review next. I mean, we've got the OJs, we've got one at eight point five, we've got one at twenty percent, uh, and we've got one at five percent, and then we've got the extra, which is five point two, five point three thereabouts, and you can off scald, which is again about five point two, five percent. All right. I think um, I think we should turn it up a little bit. Uh, let's go up to the twenty percent. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's just pick it up. Just, I just want to show for those that are watching right now. I'm going to go and grab it to show that we're not even alone. <laughs> there it is. There's OJ. Uh, you can see there, twenty percent alcohol. 
in a can. So, uh, there it is. Fair. It's in a can as well. I mean, I love the decoration, and it's a there's a 500 mil there as well. So, um, <laughs> I've I've had this before, and I I got told to mix this with lemonade, and I've had it as is, and I've had it with lemonade. I can honestly say, with lemonade, it tastes like lemonade, and <laughs> you're gonna probably get smashed quickly. Um, <laughs> but on its own, it's it's a, it's a, I don't think many people would like it. Just put it that way. I can take or leave this, but um, I think mm. most people would be like a bit put off by this. Cool. Yeah, let's um, definitely do that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I mean, I don't know when you want the next uh, the next one to be. All right. Um, yeah, we'll see what the schedule's like. But yeah, definitely um, maybe this week. We'll see. So what I'll do then, for those that are watching this back and for those that are the Walter and uh, who else is with us? Uh, scroll up. Walter and Will. Uh, oh, and I've got another one joined us. Uh, so for those that are watching, um, we are going to be reviewing the 20% stuff next time round. And uh, from OJ. Um, what I'll do is I'll schedule a, um, a live schedule like i did today so for those that haven't join me at facebook on ruku's beer so you can see me here uh, i'm just going to use walter's name so there's my name there ruku's beer come and add me um and i'll be doing a um live review with you jimbo on this uh 20 percent beast so yeah that should be good that should be good but uh also subscribe to Jimbo as well. Don't forget Jimbo over there. He's he's you know he's he's coming. He's uh, doing his reviews with me. So don't forget to subscribe to him as well. Sure, you've got some stuff going on on your channel somewhere. One day. <laughs> <laughs> One day he says. Cool. Excellent. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for the time and um, yeah, thanks for the reviews and um, we will on to the next one. Yeah, let me know. And uh, as I say, fans, come and join us next time because you're not going to want to miss a 20% beer. And don't forget, like, comment, and share these videos. I can't get the camera angle. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but the heat's got to me. My brain is frying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn into Ozzy Osbourne any minute. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, anyway, um, so yeah, there you go. So share, like, guys, subscribe, and uh, yeah, get the word out there. So 20% beer, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So yeah, thanks for watching, fans, and join us next time for some more beer reviews. Excellent. Cheers. See ya.